Okay, well, um, I promised a few people to make a video of my equipment. <clears throat> so here we go for Uncle Joe and Morden and Jeanette. Um, okay, so the bottom machine is my NAS with uh, 12 1 terabyte drives running uh, Xplanology. It's got 8 gig of RAM and it's actually pretty good. It's got an issue at the moment, it beeps a bit when it's booting, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Now the other machine is my um, HP Dell 380 Generation 6. It has um, five 750 gig hard drives, two SAS um, drives which is just a swap um, and a scratch disk. They're in RAID 0, these are in RAID 5, and it has a 120 gig SSD. So this works quite well. It's full boot drive and the operating system. It's running um, Windows 2016 data center with 30 gigabytes of RAM. And I'll open it up. <coughs> It's only got one CPU, which is a shame. It's a four core. It's, um, I haven't cleaned out the hands in a while or anything, but it's pretty clean. It's got, um, like I said, 32, 30 gigs of RAM, sorry. Um, these are in threes. And so it's got um, three sets of eight and three sets of four. So I want to upgrade that in the near future when I can. They're quite expensive though, which is a bit of a shame. And second CPU, when you have the second CPU installed, <clears throat> you can have um, another set of RAM installed, which is totals up to about 388 gigs, which is quite nice. Um, there's nothing installed in the expansion slots at the moment. Um, even has a card reader slot down here and has a USB and that's the header for adding video card which is kind of nice um, nothing much else to say about this machine you can look up quite a bit about it on the internet but um, The cool thing about it is how quiet this thing is, so I'll, I'll boot it up. Okay, it's turned on. I mean, the switch makes more noise than the server. The moment I'm running um, Mystic Woods online, which is uh, a Forsaken World server, private server, and I'm running my mail server and my um, web server, which is running in VM. Actually, I have to move my web server, uh, mail server to a VM. It takes a while to boot. Make sure I didn't unplug the video cable. Oh, here we go. It does take a while. <clears throat> it's got the standard um, static, uh, SAS controller, not SAS, serial ATA and um, RAID controller. It's only got 256 megabytes of cache, which is a bit of a shame. It's got, see, it's got a four core Intel Xenon. I want to upgrade that to two six core Xenons, which will give um, 
16 threads at the moment it's eight on one which is quite nice This does take a while. I could press. Yeah, here we go. I'm just going to boot into Windows. <coughs> Boots off your SSD quite nice and fast. As you can hear, it's silent, really. There's something where you can actually hear it making a little bit of noise. I did an update for a um, shutdown. Here's the cat. Join in on the video. It's Henry. Hi, Henry. It's taking a while. I'll turn the other machine on while we're waiting. Okay, so the other machine is the server, which is a bit noisier. And as I say it, it beeps. I have the um, second power supply unplugged. Okay, so here's the status lights. The power button's quite nice. It's um, recessed. This is a noisy machine. Maybe it's not going to beep. It takes a while to boot up, but most servers do. Actually, it boots off a um, SD card, which is quite nice. Got these machines from my friend Andy at Bank Systems. Thank you very much, Andy. Do you need any antivirus software or stuff from them and hook them up? Sort of blind settings on the set, I just say. This is weird. Let's do it. Good. 
Still breathing, no beeping though, which is good. So maybe it was that car spray or plugged in a bit. You see hard drives are starting to get access to now. Still applying computer settings. Other than the other machine, uh, there's a bit more activity now. The um, Synology or Xpenology um, can do iSCSI as well, so which is quite nice. Yeah, there was no warning, no warning like the that's a good sign. The micro USB at the front. So it's only applying computer settings. Oh good, so I got this um a dull workstation as well, which is quite nice. It's got 8 gig of RAM, which is quite cool. I'll make another video about that machine. So, this is all showing my computer settings. <laughs> Maybe it's booting up the VMs in the background or restoring them. It gets a bit noisy in here, there's a bit um, massive around it. It's definitely doing something. So Discs are being accessed. I might uh, stop it now and I'll make another video after.